It's quite simple. What kind of super weapon would we get if all of the weapons for a class and their slot were compiled together? This video aims to explore exactly that, so let's see what horrible contraptions we would concoct. And before we begin, a huge thank you to Alex and Mr. Light for their support on weapon models and source filmmaker renders. A link to Alex and Mr. Light's profiles are in the description below. Please give them some love. Our first weapon up is Natasha, the Huel Long Brass Slav, and she is quite the gun for murdering on the run, or I guess walk in this scenario. The positives are that on hit she will slow down enemy players, there is a 40% damage resistance when spun up and health is less than 50% of maximum, it is 20% more accurate, it is a silent killer with no spin up sound, it creates a ring of flames while it is spun up, it has 25% more damage against burning players, and for the first time ever it has random crits! Yay, good job primary weapons. However, the negatives are as follows. It consumes an additional 4 ammo per second while it is spun up. It deals 15% less damage. It has a 60% longer spin up time, a 60 slower move speed when deployed, and finally a 20% slower firing speed. This weapon might be the strongest primary in the game once it is up and running. The slowdown on hit plus a substantial damage resistance bonus and it being silent is a terrifying combination. Even though there is a slight damage penalty, the extra accuracy makes up for that because you'll be hitting more bullets anyways. However, the ring of fire plus the extra spin up time means not only will the silent spin up be partially negated, but you won't be able to wait an ambush for somebody, which makes it all somewhat counterintuitive. Combined with the pyro, you will be killing baby men in no time. Well, er, in some time since there's a long spin up, but I think you know what I mean. Next up are the heavies secondaries, his sandwich and his shotgun. His sandwich, or Nali Deloco steak sandwich, does the following. When you eat it, it will restore 133 health over 4 seconds. With secondary fire, throwing it to another player will restore 40% of their health. When it is thrown and then picked up, it will recharge the entire bar. If you are injured and you eat it, it will take about 20 seconds for it to be used again. If your health is full, collecting any health pickup will immediately recharge the bar. It raises maximum health by 50 points for 30 seconds. And when you are at full health, it will also give you 50 points of overheal. While you are under its effect, uh, all damage dealt is mini crits. It will give you 35% faster movement speed. However, the player can only use melee weapons and damage taken is increased by 25%. The effects last for 15 seconds. The good news and the bad news about these combination of weapons is that the buffalo steak sandwich hurts the other benefits by a lot, while the Delocos bar reduces the recharge time by just a little bit. Using this sandwich for yourself would be really risky, except for perhaps match setup and eating a sandwich just before the gates open. It does become a semi-reliable medkit dispenser, and it also does grant a health bonus, so with that in mind, it's not terrible. When combined with the gloves, as we'll soon go over, it can be a pretty useful tool. And speaking of really useful tools, the shotgun is the Family Panic Attack, the heavy variant of the Panic Attack weapon in this series. It does suck that this one weapon changes up so much of the shotgun arsenal in these videos, huh? The long and short of it is, it is the Panic Attack, but it has an increased clip size by 33%, a 15% increased attack speed, but it does 15% less damage. Now, while that is pretty simple, it actually is probably one of the best combinations we've had thus far, at least for shotguns. The clip size increase with increased attack speed actually makes the Family Panic Attack probably the strongest shotgun we have. The attack speed and clip really help build up the potential damage, while the Soldier, Pyro, and NG variants always bring it way down. Going Fat Scout with Heavy using this would actually be a strong alternative, especially since your minigun will have trouble keeping the ammo that it has at all times, and the slow spin-up time makes it a very hard choice to move into or switch to. This is definitely a fair choice of a weapon. Now, his gloves, which we will name the Steel Warriors Killing Gloves of Urgent Holiday Notice, which I think is an amazing name, these are going to do the following. And I do think the Urgent Holiday Notice title is totally applicable because you better get the hell out of combat while you have these gloves on, or you better get the hell in there. Because the positives are as follows. 
On kill, it will grant 5 seconds of guaranteed critical hits for all weapons. It will also grant 50 health on kill. There is a 40% damage reduction from range sources while active. It has a 20% faster firing speed, a 45% faster move speed while it is active, and you gain a 3 second speed boost on hit. It will force critical hit victims to laugh, critical hits will always occur if you hit them from behind, and on hit, enemies who are using these gloves, namely the heavy, will also be forced to laugh regardless of where you hit them. It also has random crits. But here are the downsides to these gloves. Critical hits will do no damage. The user takes many crits when the weapon is active and for 3 seconds while switching away. It deals 55% less damage and it has a 150% slower switch from speed, meaning from the gloves to another weapon. And the biggest one of all is that there is a 150% damage vulnerability from melee sources while this is active. What is bizarre here is how well the gloves work and do not work for killing. In this scenario, if you kill somebody with the gloves, you are given guaranteed crits on any weapon, which includes your melee weapon, which means you actually cannot kill anyone once you get that first kill for the next 5 seconds, because a crit does no damage with these gloves. However, you can potentially make anyone laugh for 5 seconds. The suckish part is, is that even if you switch to the shotgun, there is a 150% slower switch from speed, and there's the panic attacks firing mechanic, which means that you'd have maybe a fraction of a second to land a shot if you wanted to use the guaranteed crits. It could happen, it just wouldn't happen very often. It especially won't happen with the minigun with its insanely slow spin up time. What is radical about these gloves is that it is the strongest debuff weapon that there is when used in conjunction with your team. You can effectively nullify the entire enemy's advance. A heavy gets crits, punches people, and would move faster than a scout, and this is not including the speed boost that you get from smacking somebody. Those people are forced to laugh and then your teammates come in for the kill. It is fiendishly evil. You would be like a comedic demo knight, but instead of being tanky, you become way more vulnerable, but you are always moving at super speeds. This does not include the sandwich buff, which would increase your movement speed and damage taken even further. That would stack the 25% damage taken with the 150 for an insane 175% extra damage taken from melee, and you get an 80% increased movement speed. Imagine an 80% increased movement speed and then receiving a speed boost from smacking somebody. The heavy would be a goddamn train of pain and laughter. However, he would be a very easily derailed train if somebody just barely pokes him with the stick. That includes it for this section. Thank you all so much for the series and support. It's been really fun making this so far, and just seeing how bizarre these weapons do or don't become, and how well the combinations do or don't work out. Next up will be our engineer, and I imagine it will only get stranger from there. Thank you for watching, you crazy loons. Again, please check out Al Axe and Mr. Light in the description below. One is a very bright man who has a weird head, and the other one is a light bulb. <laughs> I have no regrets about making that joke. Sorry. Uh, their profiles are in the description below. Please give them some love. And consider letting me know about your own awesome accomplishments in the Space Barber Steam Group. A link is in the description below. And if you like what I do and you want to support me, please consider checking out my marketplace.tf page. A link to my shop is in the description as well. All of my items there are gifted or crafted by me as proof of support. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned because more will be coming your way. Bye bye.